Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to evaluate x to the power root 2 plus y to the power root 2. Given that log to base 2 of x to the power 4 plus log to base 3 of y to the power 4 plus 8 divided by 8 times log to base 2 of x times log to base 3 of y is equal to 1. We have also been told that both x and y are greater than 1. Now to solve this problem, we are going to start by calling log to base 2 of x, u, and log to base 3 of y, v. Now with these two substitutions, this equation is going to be u to power 4 plus v to power 4 plus 8 divided by 8uv is equal to 1. The next thing we are going to do is that we will get rid of this fraction on the left hand side. And how are we going to do that? We are going to cross multiply. So when we do that, we have that u to power 4 plus v to power 4 plus 8 is equal to 8uv. Now let us bring this term over to the left hand side. When we do that, we have u to power 4 plus v to power 4 minus 8 uv plus 8 is equal to 0. Now the next thing we are going to do is that we will complete the square on the left hand side of the equation and to do that we need to add and subtract 2u squared v squared to the left hand side of this equation. So when we do that we have u to the power 4 minus 2u squared v squared plus v to the power 4 then plus 2u squared v squared minus 8uv plus 8 and of course this is still equal to 0. Now let us write u to the power 4 as u squared squared minus 2u squared v squared plus v squared squared plus. Notice that these three terms can be divided by 2. So we have 2 into 2u squared v squared divided by 2. Of course, we have u then minus 8uv divided by 2, we have minus 4u v and 8 divided by 2 is 4 but we are going to write 4 as 2 squared so here we have 2 squared and of course this is still equal to 0 now look at this you can see that this is a perfect square so here we have u squared minus v squared squared plus 2 into once more this is a perfect square so here we have u v minus 2 and of course this is squared now here notice that when we expand this bracket what we have is u squared squared 2 times u squared times minus v squared and then minus v squared squared which is this and in the same way, when we expand this, we have uv squared. 2 times uv times minus 2, that is minus 4 uv. And then, of course, minus 2 squared, which is that. And then this is still equal to 0. Now, look at this equation. We have this quantity, which is a square, so it must be positive. We also have this quantity, which is a square. So it must also be positive. But the equation tells us that the sum of these two squares is equal to zero. Now this can only happen when this square is equal to zero and this square is equal to zero. So from this equation, we have that u squared minus v squared is equal to zero and u v minus 2 is equal to 0 and of course from here we have that u squared is equal to v squared 
when we take square root of both sides of this equation, we have that u is equal to v. Of course, we have been told that both x and y are greater than 1. So u and v must both be positive. Now, in this case, we have that u v is equal to 2. But from here, we already have that u is equal to v. So that means that this is v times v is equal to 2 because u is equal to v. This simply means that v squared is equal to 2. And once more, when we take square root of both sides of this equation, we have that v is equal to the square root of 2. And of course, since v is equal to the square root of 2, u must also be equal to the square root of 2. Coming back to this substitution, we have that log to base 2 of x is equal to u. And log to base 3 of y is equal to v. Of course, from here, you know that 2 to the power u is equal to x. In the same way, 3 to the power v is equal to y. So we have that x is equal to 2 to the power u. So we have that x is equal to 2 to the power root 2. And from here, we have that y is equal to 3 to the power v. y is equal to 3 to the power root 2. And finally, to evaluate this quantity, we have x, 2 to the power root 2, to the power root 2, and y, 3 to the power root 2, to the power root 2. Of course, you know that when we have two powers like this, what we do is to multiply both of them. Root 2 times root 2 is equal to 2. So here we have 2 squared. The same thing happens here. We have 3 squared. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. So the value of this, given this, is equal to 13. Now, in case you do not know how to complete the square, there's another way of handling this equation. Let us assume that v is equal to k times u, where k is a real constant, then this equation is going to be u to the power 4 plus k u to the power 4 minus 8 u times k u plus 8, and this is equal to 0. Now from here we have u to the power 4 plus k to the power 4 times u to the power 4 minus 8 k u squared plus 8 is equal to 0. We can factorize u to the power 4 out of these two. When we do that, we have u to the power 4 into this divided by this is 1 plus this divided by this is k to the power 4 minus 8 k u squared plus 8 is equal to 0. Now notice that this is a quadratic equation in u squared. And of course, to study the behavior of quadratic equations, we use the discriminant. So we have that this is equal to b squared minus 4ac. The discriminant b squared, what is b? This is b. So we have minus 8k squared minus 4 into a is, this is a, that is 1 plus k to the power 4, and c, of course, is 8. Now, from here, we have minus 8k squared is 64k squared minus 4 times 8 is 32. So this is 32 multiplied by 1 plus k to the power 4. Now here we have 64 and here we have 32. We can factorize. From here we have minus 32 into, now 64k squared divided by minus 32 is going to give us minus 2k 
squared and minus 32 times 1 plus k to the power 4 divided by minus 32 is going to give us 1 plus k to the power 4. Now let us rearrange this. We have minus 32 into k to the power 4 minus 2k squared plus 1 and once more notice that this is a perfect square so here we have minus 32 into k squared minus 1 squared of course you know that when we expand this we have k squared squared that is k to the power 4 2 times k squared times minus 1 that is minus 2k squared and then we have minus 1 squared which is equal to 1 but most importantly notice that the discriminant is negative so for that quadratic equation in u squared to have real roots that means this must be equal to 0 so we have that k squared minus 1 must be equal to 0 and of course from here we have that k squared must be equal to 1 and taking square root of both sides of the equation we have that k must be equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 which is equal to plus or minus 1 but once more we are only dealing with positive quantities so we have that k is equal to 1 now we go back to this equation and you see that v is equal to u and of course, with this relationship, we can now go back to the equation u to the power 4 plus v to the power 4 minus 8uv plus 8 is equal to 0. Because since v is equal to u, this equation is now going to be u to the power 4 plus u to the power 4 minus 8u times u plus 8 is equal to 0. From here, we have 2u to the power 4 minus 8u squared plus 8 is equal to 0. Now, let us divide through this equation by 2. And of course, from here we have u to the power 4 minus 4u squared plus 4 is equal to 0. And of course, this is a perfect square. So from here we have u squared minus 2 squared is equal to zero from here we have that u squared minus two is equal to zero and of course u squared is equal to two and once more taking square root of both sides of this equation we have that u is equal to root two and since v is equal to u we have that v is equal to root two also so now you can see that the two methods lead to the same results. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.